today on Divorce Court. The type of she just nagged me, just bug. I think she just do it on purpose just to keep bugging me every day. I'm gonna nag you until you do what you're supposed to do. If you can't do it on your own, then I'm gonna be right there to help you to get things done. I cheat on her just to get away, stop hearing all that nagging all the time. I think that's just the excuse. When I first met her, she was a very calm person, but now she wake up in the morning cranking and everything. He puts getting high before everything, even himself, it's too much. I gotta stay high because she nagged at me all the time. It's just for me to keep my mind calm. 13 years is a long time to be with somebody. It don't take you 13 years to realize that if you want to be with somebody or not. When the time is right, it's gonna come along. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Tretavia Henderson and Maine Hardman. The two of you have been together for 13 years. You have three children together. You've been engaged for a year, and I'm not quite sure what's happening now. So I'm sure you're gonna tell me. Ms. Henderson, I'm gonna start with you. Tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're in divorce court here today. Your Honor, I've been with Maine for the past 13 years. In these 13 years, Maine have cheated on me uh, multiple times, and I'm just at the point now that I'm ready to get up out this relationship. Give me some examples of times when you've caught Mr. Hardman cheating on you. Well, one time, Your Honor, I was at a friend house, and her guy friend told me that um, he knew my man. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know how did he know him. He told me that he knew him through his sister, which Maine was supposedly be cheating with. Um, so I, to ask him more questions, I kind of picked his brain, you know, he knew things about him that he shouldn't have known. Right. So when I brought it to Maine, he told me that it wasn't true. And, uh, the girl never wanted to talk to me, of course, you know, you get those girls that, mm -hmm. you know, wants to be the side chick and, you know, you know, keep it on the low low so she can have her cake and eat it too with him. Right. So, um, <laughs> another time... That's a whole mm -hmm. thing, Joe. It's a whole sidekick. It's side chick, they have rules and everything. It's a whole <laughs> phenomenon, you know. You know, you gonna be, the, you gotta be a quiet side. You know, you know, you know. Oh. <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry, Ms. I just let Joe know because I knew. And, uh, <laughs> and another time, Your Honor, um, you know, may have cheated on me with the white girl. Um, now. This white girl must have been some type of special to him because he was ready to lose his life and his family over this white girl. Why, why do you say he was ready to lose his life and his family? Because her boy, she had a boyfriend. And he found out. So he was ready to do Maine some heartily harm. Mr. Hardman, now, now she's over there telling me that you constantly philander. Is that true? Uh, yeah, that was back in the day when I was younger, Your Honor. That's back in the day? Back in the day. You say that now. I know that now, man. <laughs> When's the last time you had a little oops? Man, it's been about six years, Your Honor. Six years? Six years. Is that the truth? That's the truth. Uh, Why do you think this relationship is ending then? Cuss her nagging. She nag every single day. I get tired of hearing all that every day. You know what I'm saying? It What's she me... nagging about? Man, everything. It don't matter what it is. It can be something from me taking out the trash, me disciplining the kids or anything. You know what I'm saying? Me not helping out with... I help out with the bills, but she say I spend too much money on other stuff and I'm still taking care of the bills. You know what I'm saying? You, you do say, spend too do much money on other stuff. Do you help out with the bills or yes, are you the I primary bride? I help out with the bills every week. Every week. When you say help out, what does that mean? I pay mean? the bill. I pay which bill that needs to be paid that week. Whatever she says, hey, the such and such needs yes. to be paid, you got it. Yes. Is that true? Sometimes, Your Honor. Sometimes he don't. Majority of the time, he'd rather go spend his money on other things that's not what important. What other things does he spend his money on? Smoking. He it's... has a bad habit of he feels like he needs to smoke all day, because every day. Because her nagging pushed me, you know what I'm saying? I gotta me have into my that I, Yes, I gotta have my mind clear. You were smoking before I met you, so what are you saying? Well, I smoke more now, though. Oh, really? <laughs> How do I know real, that? <laughs> do you guys have disagreements about the kids and. He says you nag him about the way he disciplines. Do yeah, you have he a does problem not. With that? Yes, he doesn't discipline them. My kids are, oh, our, sorry, my bad. Our children, you know, tell them to shut up, stop. They would hit him back, leave me alone, all of the above. I feel like those things. When your kids tell you what to do, then you need to get on. You need to discipline them. He doesn't do it. He just turned the other cheek like it's okay. That's not okay. Do your children tell you what to do? No, they, they don't just tell, tell him. Oh, they tell him what to do because I'm gonna get on them. Mr. Hardman, do your children? Tell you what to do? Uh, somewhat, Your Honor. Really? Somewhat. Yeah, somewhat. All the time. How do you let that happen? Huh? I don't be. I'm leaning on the kids. I can't say that. She's more disciplined on them. 
when I do discipline, she get on me like, why is I'm disciplined and that ain't enough reason for her, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes that I ain't just true, lay back. Honor. That is so true. Do, do you net pick the man? I mean, do if, if he does do something, does, he has, does it have to be done exactly how exactly. you would do it? Yes. <laughs> well, when I do allow him to do things, they, they fall apart. So if he's a my way or the highway. What do you mean they fall apart? Give me an example when he was in charge and everything fell apart. He can be in charge of paying a bill, and uh -huh. he tell me he paid the bill. But then I get a notice saying he ain't paid the bill. So it's just like, okay, why would you lie about paying that bill? You know, I left you in charge of doing that, you know, because I, you know, trusted you, but you wasn't even trustworthy to do that. Then you lied to me in my face. Are you not reliable? If, you, if you're if you asked to pay a no, bill, maybe I'm you will, very, maybe I'm, you won't. I'm liable. Yeah, I can pay the bill when I want to, when I, it's going to get paid. When he wants to, you heard but that, But it's right? going to get paid, though, before the end of the month is out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you run into late fees, interest charges, and all that kind of stuff because Sometimes. you get to... Now, See, that's, a, that's what I call the stupid tax. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the tax on not getting your business together. Okay. I mean, and you know how much money people spend on the stupid tax? I mean, these corporations or whoever is charging you, they, they just leaning back laughing. Yeah. You say he has difficulty maintaining employment. Why do you say that? He can do a lot of things. He's very good with his hands, but putting those things to use, he doesn't do it all the time. Maybe he decides one day he don't want to work, and so he like he don't go to work. That's not fair to me or my kids. You know, do you bills just, need to be paid. Do you not? Do you just not go to work one day because you don't feel like yeah, it? I you do because I can see yeah. it. <laughs> Mr. Hardman, how can you manage that? How how can you feel okay putting a woman in your life in a position where she's not sure? about how things are gonna get paid. She know if I got it, I'm gonna take care of it, you know what I'm saying? But, but you say, if same... I got it, and yeah. a lot of times you won't have it because you didn't go to work and you, like, hey, it's on her. Yeah, Is but that it's, not like, it? it's not like I'm gonna just be off work for like a year or two, you know what I'm saying? I'm still gonna get up and take care of my kids and the bills what I gotta take care of. So you just, you just don't show up to work, but you think you can get another job soon thereafter? Yeah, I always do. How many different kind of jobs would you have in a year? In a year? This year? Yeah, this two. year. Two. You two jobs. Two, two jobs this year. I'm still working right now. You still... <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> um, so, uh, difficulties, problems, and concerns notwithstanding, Ms. Henderson, I, I understand that you are five months pregnant. Yes, We're going to talk am. about that and, and, and see where we're going to go from here. My kids see me every single day, you know. They see you every day. Do they see you sober? Yes. When? <laughs> In the morning, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Hardman, you contend that your choppy employment history notwithstanding, Ms. Henderson is the one that's lazy. Why do you believe she's lazy? Because she is lazy. You know, she can be at home all week. I can been wash the clothes over the weekend. The clothes still will be at home every single day I come home from work. She don't, you know what I'm saying, don't like to cook, you know what I'm saying? She don't like to keep the house clean, you know Does she work outside the home? No. She stay at home all day. Not now, because I'm currently pregnant. That's why I don't work outside the home, Your oh, Honor. Okay. How you guys... Oh, so that's why you gotta keep a job right yeah. now, because she's out of a job. No, it ain't that. Huh? It ain't that. It's not that? No, I gotta keep money in my pocket. You got money in your yeah, pocket? I need money to, in my pocket. To keep smoking every day. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lazy right now because, okay, Your Honor, beginning of this year, we, we lost a child. Two days before Easter, oh. I had a miscarriage where I had to go in to get surgery. Right. And I'm so, so sorry about that. Thank you, Your Honor. As uh, soon after that, maybe a month later, I come up pregnant again. So this time, I am like, I'm, I'm taking it easy. I was doing a lot of running, ripping, you know, cleaning mm. up, doing this, doing that. So now I'm taking it easy because losing a child, even though it was just a fetus, it's still devastating. It's right, depressing. Right, right. And I don't want to have to, that to happen again mm -hmm. because we, well, I wanted this, this child. That's so, of course, not I'm, I'm scourge, not doing man. much at home right now because I'm taking it easy. This baby is taking a lot out of me. I uh -huh. have to go to the doctor every week to take shots because we're trying to, you know, keep baby in so baby don't come early. Oh my. So he knows it's a lot. Did you have preterm labor? Yes. Uh, with two of our children, yes. Our last two, yes. I've had preterm labor. 
Oh, I've been on that road. Yes. Yeah, and that stuff they shoot you up with ain't no joke it, either. No, it's not. Uh, you better stop it. <laughs> Be quiet, sit down, fold clothes. Cause you ain't got no idea yeah. what's happening with her. You hear me? I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say, however, that Ms. Uh, Henderson tries to control you. In what way does she try to control yeah, you? She try to control my money. She try to control my time limits. She try to control my Facebook, everything. Oh, what you doing on Facebook? Huh, just looking through it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't got nothing to hide. She got my password and everything. You be looking are through you, it. Are you upset about what he's doing on Facebook? I always see these snow bunnies on his page. <laughs> That's, what is a snow bunny? These white girls. They oh. all, I mean, I have, it's a multitude of white girls that send him requests all the time, and I'm just wondering, why is That's that? That's not my fault, though. So who are these snow bunnies? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You don't know? No, I don't know. So just random yes. women that just you random. don't know are sending you, yes. what, friend, friend requests? requests? Yes. Do you accept them? No, I don't. Some of them he do. No, I don't. I've deleted I do some of them off his account. <laughs> <laughs> so what else does she control? She tries to control your money. In what way does she try to control your money? Tell me what to spend it on, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. If he spent it on his priorities, then I wouldn't have to tell him what to spend it on. If he, if he, Got, went to he had work. his priorities together. Yeah, you and then went to work, came home, and took care of the bills right then and there. You know, what needs to be done first, then I wouldn't have a oh, problem. Well, However, his priorities is mixed about, up. He, the first thing he do is call the man. <laughs> is that your first priority? Yeah, it is. Exactly. <laughs> and his, his first priority is supposed to be the you family. Got three, you got I, three kids under kids, 10. They, I, I take care of my kids, Your Honor. My kids see me every single day, Your Honor. They see you every day. Do they see you sober? Yes. When? <laughs> in the morning, you know what I'm saying? In the, in the morning, OK, yeah. when you take them to school in the yeah. morning. That's well, the only time. I, since we're talking about money and we're talking about control, I want to talk about the eviction. You can't do it. I know that now, but then, you know, I thought I can control oh, myself. No. You know? oh, no, 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 no. I don't know how you people survive this long. <laughs> I don't know either. Would you forgive a partner who stopped cheating years ago? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce court will be right back. So Ms. Henderson, tell me what happened when you got evicted. About five, six years ago, Your Honor, a um, man got his income taxes back. And we were behind on bills, of course. And um, instead of him, you know, helping out with the bills, uh, he got up one morning and was like, oh, I got to go somewhere. I'll be right back. Now, he went and caught the bus somewhere. came back with a whole vehicle. He had brought a vehicle with his money instead of helping me with the bills. M Mr. Har did that result in you getting evicted? Yes. Mr. Hartman, did you do that? Yes, ma'am, I did. Did you understand that the rent was due? Yes, I did. And and what what was the logic you went through in your mind that said, well, let me let me buy a car, even though we may not have a place to stay? Huh, I was thinking about, you know what I'm saying, getting around back and forth to work, you know, you know what I'm saying? But at the time that I was young and dumb, you know what I'm saying, when I did that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that wouldn't happen. That wouldn't happen now. Is no, what you're telling me. Now, yeah. That would. That would not happen no, now. So he's no way, shape, or form. No. You say Ms. Henderson has a bad attitude. Why do you say that? Cause she do have a bad attitude. You know, like my cars. She don't tool up so many of my cars. You know, you know what I'm saying. Like one example. I came home from work. You know, and she asked to use my car to go out to a party. You know what I'm saying. I came. I stayed up till like 2 in the morning. I'm looking out the window and she pulled up. I see my head like hanging and everything, you know what I'm saying? I asked her what happened. She laughing and off like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's funny and everything. Did, did you beat up his car? It, it wasn't intentionally, Your Honor. Well, it wasn't. It was. She you know, swerved and hit the light pole. We was drinking, you know, me and my sister's now, man. You know, I was trying to stun a little bit and, you know. You got turned up in the car? <laughs> No, I got turned up at a party, but I was trying to, once we got, you know, the party was over, we got in the car, I was trying to stop. Oh, you know, everybody go home, man. And, you know, you swerving. I just swerved and hit the pole. Mrs. So, Anderson, you can't get behind that the, ain't the with only liquor time, you in your know. system. You can't do it. I know that now, but then, you know, I thought I can control myself, no. you know? No, 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 no. I 
don't know how you people survived this long. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> oh my God. So, does she yell? Does she go crazy? Man, does she throw she tantrums? Yelled. Give me another example. All the time, you yeah, know. Oh, another example is he was cheating. Of right. course, this was with the white girl. When I found out about it, I tore up his car. I busted out all six windows. I flared all four tires, and I wrote vulgar language on the hood and the side of the door. Okay. Now, who had to replace that? You or the girl? Both of us. We Both did. Us. You did. She ain't you didn't hurt her. her. You just hurt yourself. Yeah. yeah. And he tried to send me to jail. For did that. you? Did you call? No, I didn't call. The neighbor did. I didn't go to jail because I was a co-signer on the car, so he told me so that... It was your own property, yeah, so, so you can't they couldn't do nothing about your own it. So property, yeah. but yeah, you know. But you let that woman take money out your house. You your right. man and your money. You can keep the man, I keep my money. But <laughs> that's just me. I was young then, y'all. I wasn't thinking, I was just angry. Now, you've come to this courtroom asking $350 for damages for a television set. But I don't believe you're gonna leave him. You got three kids, you got another one on the way, and you don't, you don't have a job. So I don't think you're going anywhere. So I'm gonna tell you what I think you ought to do while you stay where you are. What would you do if your partner was financially irresponsible? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. You two are nice people. I like it. Despite all the, the consternation you cause one another, I, I, I don't know if I like you, I enjoy you. Maybe I'm just tired, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hardman, what women need is a sense of safety. Women need to believe that if they let go, everything's gonna be okay. What you need to do is make sure that your wants and needs are secondary. Yeah. Secondary, like, always keep, don't walk off a job because you just don't feel like going. Can't do it. Yeah. You don't want your kids to do it, you, and you want her to feel safe. And feel safe is like, you know, money in the bank, we have an issue, I can dip in the bank and get the money out. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? You can't live from month to month. She'll never feel safe. If she ain't safe, she ain't gonna stop yap, 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 yapping at you. Do you understand that? I hear you. Ms. Anderson, are you cool? I'm cool. You need to sit down? <laughs> no. I don't want to have anything happen in here. No, no, I'm all right, I'm all right. <laughs> Might I say this one other thing? If you got some extra money, spend it on birth control so you can get level for a minute. Do you understand? You need to tell him that. He needs the birth control. <laughs> <laughs> Both of y'all. You in this together, right? Yeah, you're you right. You know, when, when you have that baby, that doc talk to that doctor about birth control so you could get level. You got a lot of kids. You, you know what I mean? You can't just do bare minimum. You can't let them just float along the river like, you know, and go off in the current. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have plans for them to push them beyond where you got to. Cause don't you want your kids not to be concerned about the month to month evictions and all that yes. that you do? Yes, I do. You gotta make that happen for them. That's your gig. That takes money in this man's America. You with me? I hear you. Good luck to the both of you. Have a happy baby. This matter is adjourned. I really don't want to end the relationship um, with Maine. I really love him. We have three kids together, and I feel like we can be together for a long time. Um, but things need to change in order for that to happen. We got to be both be on the same page for our children and our family for it to work. I don't think we're going anywhere. We've been together three, 13 and a half years. You know what I'm saying? Three kids and nothing on the way, so I don't think I'm going to leave her no time soon.